Hello, hello everybody. How are you? And welcome to episode number two of the Crafter Hour. It is me, Brian, and I am here. I'm here to spend the next hour or so with y'all to do some crafting, have some fun. So we may or may not do a little interview today. I'm not sure if anybody's up to it. That'd be cool. But let's see if anybody's in here and then I'll load this up on my laptop. And let's see, let's refresh. Wow. Y'all, we just hit 490 subscribers, it looks like, just now. So that is awesome. We are 10 away from 500, looks like, and... Go there's we go. Gotta get these downloads off of there. All righty. Is there anybody out there? It's gotta be somebody out there wanting to watch. One watching, cool. So I hope everybody's having a good afternoon. I am. And tell you what, when we get into this, I had a little happy mail from somebody today. Posh Paper Lady sent me a little something. And I'll show that to you all in just a minute when somebody gets in here, or at least maybe a couple people. So let's see. Is anybody out there? It says one is watching. Let's. I guess we're going to start crafting in just a moment. As soon as somebody gets starts chatting. I'll go ahead and get this trimmer ready. Well, I just made a mistake doing this. Okay, that's 12 inches. Cool. Okay. Got to move some stuff out of the way here. Two watch and all righty. One of these days, we're going to have to break our record of 20. Then after that, break another record of beyond 20. Whatever that record is. Love to do that someday. So, anybody out there watching? You want to type in chat? Because I'm about to start. So, what I'm doing, y'all, is I got sheets of. I'll move this out some. This here is some. Sorry, 12 by 18 inch cardstock. So basically, it's 12 by 12, but with an extra set, six, extra six inches on there. So what we're going to do is fold this in half as best we can without making it too wonky. I actually need to do something real quick. I forgot to put on Do Not Disturb. Sorry. Second. Do not disturb is now on. All right, we're good now. Well, not many people want to come up here today, huh? Yay, Judy, how are you? I am doing all right. We're going to, I don't know if you watched part one yesterday's first. Finally, cool. I wonder if it is because I started more around 4 o'clock. I wonder. 
Okay, so yesterday, if you haven't watched yet, started making this tissue box holder. Basically, it's a standard size rectangular plants box holder. We made this during yesterday's live stream, and you can always go back and watch it anytime you want to. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And what I did was I used a label die. Basically, let's see. I think it came in a set of flower and other stuff set from Sizzix that I got a few months ago. So, yeah, I used that. You know, I had cut everything, scored, scored, make the center line. And also, I've, I told you all that I'm trying to make the box top. One sixteenth of an inch larger, because I think if it's one eighth of an inch larger, it's not going to work. It's going to be too loose. All right, get that away from there, just in case somebody from Mississippi State's watching that, watching this. Hello, Denise. How are you? Okay, let's see here. So to catch up from yesterday, we made this. And right now we're gonna start doing the cuts for for this box. So what I'm using is 12 inch by 18 inch cardstock because I have it. And I thought maybe it would work. So what I want to do is score, I mean score, cut at five inches. Trying to keep it within the frame pretty well. You have to move this a little bit. Probably going to do some die cutting later, so the big shot's got to stay there. Alrighty, here we go. Five inches. And... Five inches. There go them dogs barking. Yikes. Some embellishments and such falling off my big shot. This was the other part, the part that I had cut out of the tissue box yesterday. So I'm keeping it at a messy desk today, unfortunately. Well, I've been a good boy about keeping the rest of the room clean, at least. So what's everybody going to be doing this evening? Let's see here. It says one person watching. Hmm. All right. So what I want to do is cut this. Let's see. We have, so we're going to roughly do nine one eights. Sorry, nine inches. Got nine inches by four and three eighths. So what we're going to do is cut about 15 three eighths, I guess. I'm working on a Kleenex box. A cover. This is the first one I made. This was a tutorial, supposed to be a two-parter that I done a few months ago, and I never really got to part two because I lost the footage. But this one's got the Kleenex box in it. The hole here is just nice enough to do that. Yep. Cool, isn't it? And we're going to cut here oh, 15. Uh, just cut that off there, I guess. Uh -huh. I don't know why I cut two of these, because we don't really need one. So next is the scoreboard. And now this is not exact measurements or anything like that. I'm just basically at this point, I'm just 
trying to guesstimate. Taking a wild guess on this. I hope for the best, of course. Okay, so. Let's see here. We got to score at one inch. This will all make sense in just a moment. Believe me, it will. One, move this out a bunch. Ten inches. Okay, so we got, turn this over here. So we're at five and three eighths here. Approximately, more like five and five eighths. So what we're going to do is score, let's see. We need to take like an eighth of an inch off of this. So we're going to score one and one eighth on this one, I believe. This is on the fly thinking, on the fly crafting. So let's see. Oh, you've been fine with your cording, huh? The keyboard. Yeah, it happens. Okay, so what we're going to do next is fold. Yeah, I suppose we can fold, huh? So what I want to do this for is so we don't have to really worry about So we're really only, and you can of course always do the um, do this with twelve by twelve, and just you know do one section at a time. I'm just doing this because it's easier, I guess, probably just because I have the cardstock to do it. Huh? That is mighty short, there, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, because I don't know what I've done. I really don't know what I've done. I hope this works. Let's take this off real quick. See how this is going? And I did purposely make this larger. There's a reason for that. That is so I can put these and make go over. This is just a tiny little bit off. But it's cool. We're going to put this on now. We we'll start on one end. Let's see here. So on this one in here. That over. We want to keep this flush with the bottom part. We got to. We don't just want to, we have to. So now I'm going to flip this over. And find my cricket scraper and burnish. I hope that's all still right. And it is. So next we're gonna put the glue on here. So I don't know if y'all noticed or not when you got on here. It seems to me that I just saw that I'm at 490 subscribers. How about that? I'm happy about that. We got four watching. Cool. Can't see much of anything else come up in the chat, so I guess I'll continue to talk some more. It is your just measurements up there for that one piece. So I burnished that real well. There we go. That over here. And 
Go ahead and move this down some so it won't be overlapping at the bottom. And well, hello, Sherry. How are you? And Mary Ellen, how are you? So, Sherry, I have a happy mail share to do today, I believe. How's about this for some happy mail, y'all? I'm so happy I can receive flight in the mail today. Actually, I got a swap. Um, received a swap from a lady in Alabama. Um, this was from a Facebook group I'm in. Yay. I hear you. I know I'm only a few from away from 500. I noticed that actually when I logged in, I actually had 489 when I actually logged into my my chat, looked on my homepage, and looked again when I refreshed and it turned to 490. So that's cool. Oh, it is always good, special ones for me, Sherry. Tell you what, about to use this right now. Try to tell you earlier, I'm going to use this. I hope I'm using it right. Actually, I have it on the wrong way. Okay, it's going to take some getting used to. It feels kind of strange on me, but the finger blade. Woohoo! Thank you, Sherry. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You have just empowered me. You have really just empowered me. I tried a couple of cuts of chipboard when I first got it. It's doing pretty well. Okay, so what we're going to do now is cut here. And cut here. Let's make a little slit there at the corners. Yeah, I think I need to wear this on this finger maybe. I don't know, which finger do you wear it on? There we go. I think I got it now. And right here. Hope I'm wearing right. That is too much in the shadow. Okay, so. So, Sherry, how's Loki doing today? Okay, let's, well, I actually, not messed up, but, okay, so, yeah, I know, I do too. Cool. It's always joyful to have a puppy in the house, I tell you what. Yes, Denise, I remember that from yesterday. Well, I hope I'm helping y'all out somehow with every live stream and every video. And Sherry, if you have not seen the giveaway video I did yesterday, please go ahead and watch. If you want to enter, that's cool. We have five watching now. Cool. And we're going to glue this down now. Probably really should have waited a little bit longer. But no, to do all this at once. But no, that wouldn't be a good idea. So what I'm going to do this time is go ahead and glue this down. And the reason I'm doing this overlap is so I can have this over the top. I'd rather be over a little bit than actually under cutting. Hey, Mighty, how are you? Yeah. 
Yeah, Denise, you do need to be more adventurous with the physics. I tell you what, you sure do. So I'm going to try to improve the lighting here real quick. I'm sorry about the lighting being like, you know, so, so dingy in here. I mean, look, it's nice and bright when this is not here. I'm sorry I missed your life today, too, Mighty. I tell you what, I was busy, very busy today. And by the way, Labradors are doing well. Jake's doing well. Everybody's doing well. Mom and Dad are doing well, too. Let's see, we're going to cut this. Well, we already cut this. No, we don't need that because we already have another one. Well, look, it's already cut for us. How about that? So now we can just... I should, what I should have done is waited to do this part so I could tuck it under at least. But there's no worries. We are just going to go ahead and do the small side first. This is what I call on the fly crafting, of course. Got seven people here. I sure am, Alyssa. I hope you're enjoying this Wednesday as well. It's nice out there. Oh, it's a beautiful day out here because in Water Valley because actually it's not not like steamy hot today for once. I think today's high is supposed to be up to 86, which is a welcome change. So that is nice looking there. And now we're going to go ahead and Put this over, make sure it still fits well. It kind of does. Yeah. I should have scored just a tad bit better. In fact, I'm going to. It's going to score like right here, I guess. At this five inch slot. That's one bare, fo bare fold that I have now. Okay, there we go. I think that'll do a whole lot better, I think. Probably not, but it was worth a shot at least. We got eight in here, y'all. So by the way, as a reminder, the record for in this chat one time is 20. I hope to break that again very soon. I'm thinking as my subscriber count grows, honestly, the live streams are going to grow as well. So I'm looking forward to all that. Make sure that's nice and level there, which it is. Let's see, where's the scraper at? Right here. Or sure we call it the spatula, which is not a name for it. I'll break it for sure. Yeah, I know. I hope so. Oh, yes, Julie. Good idea. There are two thumbs up. Hmm. Three now. Cool. So let's see what time it is. It is not 4.30 already almost. Okay, so what we're going to do next is trim off. I don't like the sliding like this. I keep forgetting. You don't do like this or anything like that. You just go like this. It's very simple to use. I love this thing. There's we go. Look at that nice clean cut, y'all. Very nice clean cut there. And one more. And for those of y'all who are watching me right now saying, why is he 
doing this with his left hand? Because I am left-handed. I've actually been left-handed my entire life. This would be the case for everybody who's whatever-handed, I'm sure. See that? It's a pretty nice cut there. I can make nice another little cut there. Just, you know, reinforce. There we go. Yeah, messed up a little bit. Oh, well. Actually, that looks a little better. No, it doesn't. That needs to come off some more. Practice makes perfect, y'all. Practice does make perfect, for sure. Okay, well, I think we might be putting some borders on this side. See, that side's a little wonky, and this side not as wonky. I mean, this one. Yeah, I may be doing that. I'm going to try a little something different this time with this. I know this last time I had a little issue with getting the corner right. So I am going to, this time, cut a little notch on each side. Well, actually, first I'm going to cut down center and cut a notch to each side. Actually, Julie, my watch hours have gone up. I need to look at my analytics. Pretty cool. Thank you. Now, I do know that in order to be monetized, you have to have at least 1,000 1, subscribers and at least 4,000 watch hours. So that is what I hope to do one of these days. Try to get this chipboard off of here. Okay. Yeah, but please do play it. All righty. Yep. Let's see here. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I may actually add some little construction strip around the edges, possibly. I'll try to get that. But that's the way you're supposed to wear it, I suppose, huh? Sorry, like so. Suppose fingers supposed to go over it, of course. Not like this. That just is awkward, so you want to wear it. Through and up. No, wrong way. Flip it, you want it down on the cut side, of course, and go up and on here. That's how that goes. So I don't even really need to make that one cut this time. And I am still apologizing for all that darkness in here on this on this shot. The box is casting a terrible shadow. I know I should probably be doing it like this more often. Uh -oh, we are going to definitely have a quick construction strip here because I cut that. Somehow I cut that. So let's do that in a moment. My original plan was to do some inking, you know, like some, what is it called? Brush, you know, doing the, now with the distress ink. So I'm just going to use regular ink. Um, with a little Tim Holtz tool where you um, brush this ink on there. I forget what it's called. Huh. Ink effect, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I should know this. Okay, so what are always the best? I forget. I didn't see your first message. Sorry. Oh, yes. Embellishments are awesome. Actually, yes, I'm thinking about putting some flowers on here. I want to make this like a little spring scene or maybe an autumn scene. We should do an autumn scene for this simply because autumn is going to be upon us in about a month. 
PS, I'm going to start with autumn crafts pretty soon. We can start today, I guess. And don't forget, y'all, on September 6th and the 13th, Alicia over Alicia's Crafty Hop Hop and I are going to be holding that um, fall collab. We're both sponsoring it. We got about 10 or so, I think, participants. I forget how many exactly. But yeah, let's actually get this construction strip on here now if I can find one. Okay, well, let's cut one. Let's cut a few. Let's see. Actually, I do have some bling in an in a happy mailbox actually that I have. I may bring those out, who knows? I think that'll help out some possibly. We got what, two of these? No, yeah, two. Okay. We need like four inches tall. No, four and three eighths actually. We're just gonna cut it out there. Wing it. We're gonna wing it. Gonna wing it. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some ink stuff real quick, I think. Let's see, I have some, I think most of my daubers are actual, that's what they are, daubers, ink daubers actually. And I wanna find a blue one real quick. My nice blue color and not seeing one yet. We may have to do some different. Who knows? Found a gold. I found blue. Yay. I'll be reading chat for more in just a moment. Looking to my stash right now. Looking for those daubers. I think I found it. What time is it? It is 4.36. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to start doing regular live streams. I think it's going to be either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But yes, I should definitely be doing it every Wednesday. I just have not quite figured out yet exactly when I'm going to do them. I'm just testing out the waters now, I suppose. And we got nine people watching. That is awesome. But yeah, I, I, I'm going to try and do this three live streams a week. Hopefully do a few premieres each week. And it'll, it'll be at, if it's going to be a live stream or a premiere, it's probably pretty much just going to be at this time. It'll be 5 Eastern, of course, 4 Central, 3 Mountain, 2 Pacific. See that there's the one I wanted, but that does not have Velcro anymore. Yeah, I'll use this one. I'll use this one actually. And I did a heartfelt creations haul a few days ago, and I should be getting that around Friday. Hello, Nelda, how are you? So, what I'm going to do now is First, I need to score these. I really do. Let's drop something, I think. Oh, well. We're just going to go ahead, score at half an inch. And these construction strips are always coming handy. 
I think. Do you use construction strips sometimes, Sherry? I forget. I forget sometimes. Hey, Christian. Christian, I can't remember how you pronounce your name. How are you? We got nine watching. Let's see. Let's see. I'm watching here. Let's see. Mary Ellen's still here. Cool. All right, so I better get back on this. I may go too far over. Yeah, I forget if you use these construction strips sometimes. I should know. I mean, I watch your videos every day just about. So I'm on your live chat every morning. So speaking of live chats, um, Sherry is, she does premieres every morning, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. She does premiere, and during the premiere, she does a live chat. You know, it's, it starts half an hour before live stream, which would be 7 30 Eastern, 6 30 Central. And, you know, she, she chats with us. That's cool and everything. And the premiere starts at 8 7 Central. And on the weekend, she does that at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. Starts at 2 30 p.m. Eastern and 1 30 Central with the uh, live chat so you might want to check that out if you haven't yet i tell you what miss sherry you have done so much for me you've helped my you've helped me let's say you've helped me you know build up my morale you've helped me figure out how to do this crafting thing better you truly are a master crafter i i love watching your channel and I know I've been subscribed to you since not quite the very beginning, but very early on. And I forget who told me about you. It may have been Crystal at I'm Busy Crafting. I'm not sure, but somebody had told me about you really early on. And I'm glad they did. I'm so glad they did because, you know, you do an awesome job. Thank you, Cherry. I try my best to be sweet. I, I really do try my best, at least. I could probably do better sometimes. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is start getting a piece of chipboard, scrap piece of chipboard from somewhere. Scrap piece of something, at least. Here's one. We are going to do some brushing. Dobbing. Gonna turn these blue. And this is for the blue sky effect. I'm doing it the whole way. And there's gonna be a reason for that because I am going to make little try and make little hills maybe and um, some grass with my Cricut machine. Once mom gets my Cricut access reactivated, she accidentally forgot to reactivate it for me the other day when it expired. I reminded her about it today. I'm not sure what shade of blue this is. Actually, mom got me this from Amazon a couple years ago. I want to say it's like a light blue. It says crystal crafting pad for fabric wooden paper. And actually fabric is spelled wrong. So, you know. Yeah, I knew you would remember me. Sherry, I know. I've been with you just about the whole time. I remember you have not even been on two years. I think October, I believe it is, will be two years. And you've done so much over that time. I'm really glad whomever got you to start your YouTube channel that you did because you're awesome. You help us out so much every day. 
I'm sure I'm speaking for the entire community that you have on YouTube. That, you know, you do awesome. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I think I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow or Friday. Yep, mid-October, yep. Okay, got one more to go. And where's, here we go. Uh, put this on a little more because I feel like it's, I'm underwhelmed with this shade in a way that, you know, I think it could be a little better. So this side has to go first because we got the little problem they created on my own. So I tell you what. It's 444. Does anybody want, want to do a quick interview with me, perhaps? I mean, it's up to y'all. I put the link up here if somebody wants to come on here for a few minutes. I'm sure we go a little bit over 5 o'clock, if that's the case. All I know is I get 20 hours for free each month on StreamYard. I hope I got a bunch more. <laughs> I think I do. I'm pretty sure I do. So I tell you what, I'm going to put this in here real quick. Sorry, I need to save first. Okay. Copy. I think I did. Yes. To the clip tray. Okay, so I need a clip tray on here. Uh, no, no, it wasn't supposed to be where it goes. Okay, I may have just messed up, y'all. Here we are. Yay. I am back. I'm trying to get this post comment on here. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's do this here. I'm always having trouble with this. And there's that link. If anybody wants to come up, y'all have not lost me. Y'all have not lost me. I was messing around trying to get this link up here. Yeah, you're not crazy today. I'm crazy today because this was my doing, unfortunately. I was trying to get the link on there, and I accidentally typed it back into my browser on my Chrome on my phone. So, you know. That's how it goes sometimes. Why well, that link's up there if somebody wants to come up for a view. There goes the camera shaking again. I got it plugged in. And it's keeping stay at 86%. If you click the link, it's going to take you to StreamYard. I don't think you need an account for that, but if you do, you know, just... It sets up for you. It's free. You And then you can join. Um, it'll come up to the studio, kind of. You'll be, like, in the green room or the basement, as some people would say. And when I see it, I click the more, because there will be a little red thing with white number one. And I can click on you, and you can show up on the, on the live stream. That's basically what it does. So we're going to continue here. 
I hope y'all got what I was trying to say. And there we go, knocking the charger again. Yeah, if you come on here, the screen will be shared. Oh boy. I'm messing up with this. This is not working. Tell you what, this may be a part three tomorrow here. Same way I can up here. Not yet. Not quite yet. Yeah, actually, you're going to need to put like a screen name in there, you know? Like, you know. Okay, cool. I mean, you can just do a picture of your craft studio if you wanted to. You don't have to show your face or anything like that, you know. I don't require that, you know. It's, yeah, I get you. I hear you. Okay, so what we're going to do next is put this third side on. In fact, if you want to, Sherry, maybe one of these days you can come on here on the chat. You have your desk on here. Do a tour of your studio or whatever you want to do. And we can maybe do a little speed crafting competition of sorts. I hear you, Alyssa. I hear you. It happens to the best of us. Believe me, it does. Okay. Well. Okay, where's my other one? Here we go. Only lacking one right now. And I just thought I probably should have done this first. But I think it'll be all right because it'll be all right. Let's just say that. Yep. Okay, so let's see. Um, so my schedule is, I'd say I'll be back tomorrow to do live stream and I may do a premiere for the next couple days. I really wish I could do a live stream every day and I may, I may just start using Prism a lot too. I think what I'm going to do is this, I'll start continue doing live streams most of the days and then when, like, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I'll probably, like, do a, you know, interview hour. I hope everybody likes the name of my show now. I call it the Crafter Hour. I hope nobody else has taken that up. So if they have, I'd hate to have to lose the name. <laughs> We're just gonna now we're gonna stick these down. See, I'm just gonna cut these off. I, actually, I'm just gonna cut these off somehow if I can find my scissors. And we're there. They are. They're in the right place for once, y'all. Have I ever done YouTube live? I think you have to have at least a thousand subscribers to do YouTube live, Sherry, which according to my records, I'm almost halfway there. I think that's what it is. But, you know, what is the difference between like StreamYards and YouTube live? I wonder. So 
let's do that. Why use scissors when we have a finger blade, y'all? I just don't get it. I really just don't get it. Why am I using the finger blade? I'm not using the finger blade. Okay, let's get that off of there. That just happened. I'm all right, y'all. I'm all righty. There is no blood laying there. Have to be careful about that. And there we go. Yeah, I. That's the last I heard. They, you have to have at least some subscribers. That's why I'm using Streamyard right now. In fact, I have. I know a lot of people in the traveling RV community on YouTube that use Streamyard. That's because you can get multiple people. If you do the paid plan, you can have up to ten people on screen at a time. On the free plan, you can have up to six people on screen at a time. Okay, so it is 4.55. We're going to try to finish off getting this looking good. Rub that some. I have to do this behind the scenes of the camera because I cannot. The camera's too low for this to fit, I think. So I'm sorry about that. Okay. So. Yeah, I think I have a cloud stencil somewhere, but I am not going to do anything that, with that right now. So we got six watching. That is awesome. So, Sherry, do you have a Daikon machine of any kind that you use? I'm just curious. So I never see you using one. I thought maybe you had one you use on rare occasions or something. I'm talking like any kind of cup machine, call bug or a big shot or one of the computerized ones. I've always wondered that. What I may do is get the grass, make it a little taller than usual, and sort about third away from the bottom or halfway, and flip that over to there. And I can put some on the bottom here and just leave that white or whatever color I choose. Oh, I hear you, Sherry. I, I know you love doing the old school method. I do too, lots of times. In fact, for years, before I had my, um, especially before I had my color bug in 2014, the one that recently basically passed off, passed on. 
No, I did not get the package, Tammy. I don't know what's up with that. Do you think I can call you after this live stream? Because I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not getting that package. Because it was supposed to be here Monday. Okay, I'm going to get out here in just a moment after I'm, well, I'm done. There we go. We got this. How's this look, y'all? Oops. Okay, so part two is basically over and done with. I thought we'd get through the whole thing today, but nope, we didn't. So we have something to look forward to tomorrow. So let's call it a day, I guess. It is 4.59 going on 5 o'clock. Well, we can stop for a minute. Hey, Crystal, how are you? I have not seen you in a while you know, on live stream here. And y'all, another really great crafter is I'm busy crafting that is Crystal. Actually, all y'all are great crafters as far as I'm concerned. Tammy's got a really great channel, Tammy Time 360. You might as well check her out too because she does some really cool stuff. She's been actually making carnations from streamers recently. And I think I sent you a picture of that last week, Tammy. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Crystal. You work all the time. It happens. Let's see. Yeah, I'm crafting pretty much every waking hour as well. Unless I'm outside taking care of the dogs, walking them, putting them in the yard, getting them in for a while. I'm usually in here crafting or something like that during my waking hours. I love doing Happy Mail. I love making Happy Mail, I mean, too. Indeed, Cherry, Crystal is really good about her stuff. I tell you what. Okay, so let's see. Let's take votes. Does anybody want to just call it a day or what? Or we can go a few more minutes, I guess. How long have I been crafting? Well, I'm going to be 42 years old on November 4th. That's right. November 4th. 42 years old. I may not look it, but I am. But I've been pretty much crafting my entire life. But I really got serious in the paper crafting about 20 years ago. I may have told this story the other day. I'm not sure, but I'll say it again. Um, it was my dad's 53rd birthday coming up. And this was actually in year 2000. Because he's going to be 73 in a couple months. And... So, yeah, it's been 20 years. I was making a scrapbook. Basically, all I used was some scotch tape, some copy paper, hole punch. I, put, I was putting it in a binder. Did some handwriting and such. It looked decent-ish. But, I mean, I was like, I want to say, let's see, I was born in 78. So, I was probably about 21 at the time. But I tell you what. I know, Crystal. That's what everybody tells me. Everybody tells me I don't look 42. I look maybe like late 20s, early 30s. So, yeah, I've been paper crafting seriously for about 20 years. And then I did some paper crafting, you know, just on occasion after that. And back in 2005... Uh, my oldest, my two younger sisters, Sarah, who's an attorney and a new mom, she she was graduating high school. So what I did was I made her a scrapbook. I mean, I got scissors, pattern scissors, if you want to call them that, scallop scissors, whatever. I actually ordered a cutting mat. This is only my second ever cutting mat. You mean proper? I mean proper cutting mat. I had one for a while from We Are Memory Keepers that didn't last long. Use magnetic and all that, but I had a Fiskars cutting mat for a 
a very long time, about 15 years or so. I retired that recently. In fact, you've probably seen it on some of my earlier videos. It's very well worn. So, yeah, I've been, I started that around Christmas 2005. I had a scrapbook done in 2006. So, yeah. And I think 2008, no, 2006 is when Sarah graduated. 2008, my other sister, Katie, turned 16. I made her scrapbook then. Then after that, I was starting card making, stuff like that. And then I went and started doing some, you know, 3D crafts and such. So when I got my color bug back in 2014, Christmas, I was like in hog heaven pretty much with that thing. I started out with the embossing folders only. My mom thought she'd bought me a die set, but she hadn't. So I bought me one a couple months later. Wow, that is an old time, Matt, Judy. So I tell you what, yeah, I've been crashing my entire life, but really serious for 20 years now. So I'm going to get off now. I'm going to go check on the labs, or as I call them, Labradorians. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Sherry, you're too funny. Okay, so I'm going to get off here, check on the Labradorians, and then I'll see you all again tomorrow, I'm sure. Same time, same place, same channel. And we may do an interview. Who knows? Or a little something. I don't know. We never know. So I will see you all tomorrow. And this is the conclusion of Crafter Hour number two. Bye, y'all.